Hello, hello. Before I start this video, I wanted to say that if you are here for a happy, positive video with like high energy and stuff, that's not what this video is about. I did have a plan of making a skincare video today and like doing some beauty secrets because I said that in last week's video that that's what I wanted to do. Um, and then I woke up this morning and I checked the date and I knew in my heart that I had to film this video because it was today or never and I believe that what I have been through I think I think that it happened to me for a reason because I it's gonna be a little all over the place because it's very hard for me to make this is one of the most difficult things I think I've ever had to do I believe that I was put here on this earth to share my story to help others who are too scared to speak up to help themselves just anyone who feels heavy in their heart anyone who is scared anyone who's stuck anyone who is sad and they don't know why anyone who is sad and they do know why I want to be the queen of vulnerability i guess what i'm about to share with you is not easy for me i think that more people need to talk about this because it's such a huge issue in the world with so many people and so i decided this morning after checking the date i'm going to put on my metal armor and i'm going to step out into the war zone and i'm going to speak up um today marks the one year of when I decided to um, to take my life. Um, I've had just a very intense past to where I believed in my heart and I almost felt like relief because I found an answer that 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 was my answer and that was the only answer. Why did I think that answer? Because I was silent for about five years. I was in denial of what was happening to me and I didn't even really know that it was an issue until I left. To people who, who believe that, that suicide is the answer, um, I think that you've gone through some serious, serious stuff and um, I am one of those people. Um, uh, the reason I say like I put on my, my metal armor is because I'm scared. I'm scared to share. <sighs> okay, I'm, I'm gonna say it because I need to help people. I genuinely feel that if I make this video, I could possibly save someone's life. I could save someone's existence. Um, when I was 17, I was raped and um, I that just like, it still sticks with me, but I've been through a lot of therapy and opened up about it and it's really helped me. Um, and I know that a lot of women and men out there have um, had that happen and they don't say anything because they're embarrassed. And I understand that feeling because it's it's really embarrassing. Um, it's, it's mortifying and it's humiliating because it's something that you just don't have control over and it's, it's awful. And um, I think that therapy really, really helped me. <laughs> The thing that really led me to the ground and dark pit of my depression was that I was in a very abusive relationship for five years of my life. It was very verbally and physically abusive and I thought that um, I was in love. I didn't realize that I was stuck until I got out, but then when I got out I had nothing. I was alone all by myself. I was so tired of everything in my life at that moment that I decided that that was the only way that I would be happy because I would be free. I would be free from my pain. It was so painful. And I, and I told myself that I would never tell anyone about this, but um, like publicly because I was so embarrassed of it. But I believe that if I share about it, then I might save some people from making the same mistake that I did. So that's why I'm here. Um, it was exactly a year ago and I it just scars me because like, like it literally scars me. I have scars from it. Uh, I edited out of my photos because I'm embarrassed. 
This is not easy for me to talk about because it's just, it's so intense, it's very intense, but like, fuck it. Like I'm going to share about it because I, I know it in my heart and soul that people are going through this. I don't have a, a plan for this video. Like I'm just sharing what it is because I don't think I'll share it if I wait any longer. I just wanted to get that off my chest. I tried to take my life a year ago and um, fast forward a year and I'm so much happier than I ever thought I would be. That's really why I'm sharing is because I want people to know who are like, if you're feeling down and, and depressed and scared and stuck, that I was at the lowest of the low. I can be happy now because one of the main things that helped me was telling someone. The second I told someone, I felt like I had taken all of this heaviness out of my chest and I had given it to someone else. It was scary, but it was one of the best decisions I've ever made. Um, and it's almost like once you tell one person, you'll start telling other people. And uh, now everyone that's like super, super close to me, um, like my friends and family and my therapist, they all know and I can I can finally talk about it. And it's crazy because a lot of people will understand your pain a little bit, which is insane. I just want to say that if you are in this, a similar situation, you got to tell someone. You have to tell someone what you're, what you're feeling and what you're thinking because it's going to help you. I promise. And if they freaking judge you like someone in my life did, you need to get them out of your life. You need to get them out of your life because it's not... They're the ones adding to your to your issue here. Honest to God, I'm like so scared to put this out on the freaking internet, but I really want to help people, so I'm gonna turn this into what I did. Here's what I did. I told my therapist what happened. Um, I see her maybe every week, every other week for a year now. If you don't believe in therapy, then you need to just give it a shot and keep an open mind because I was really embarrassed to start therapy and oh my god has it saved my life literally get yourself some really close friends around you and like be there for each other I have a very tight group of friends and we all call each other all throughout the day just to be like hey just check it in how you feeling and sometimes they'll call me right at a moment where I'm starting to feel the darkness come upon me and I'll literally be like you know what I'm not feeling too good and then they'll they'll either come over or they'll they'll talk to me about it. And talking through it is so phenomenal. I can't even I can't even. But it's like if I were to go back a couple years, talking about it was not an option. I hid it so well. I hid all of my issues. I hid all of my marks. Literally, I would put loads of concealer on and a smile on my face. Everything was perfect. Everything was fine. When, no, we're not having issues. What are you talking about? I'm fine. Everything's good. No one knew. No one knew. And that's what was killing me is because on the inside, everything, all of my dark secrets, all of my, my trauma, everything was inside and it was laying so heavy on my soul. So the only part where I could feel freedom and relief of that is to, is to fully give up. And I'm here to tell you, don't do it. Don't do it. I look back now and I go, God, imagine. Imagine if I, if it was successful, I guess you could say. That is, um, it really scares me because I'm so happy now. <laughs> I'm so much happier. And yes, I get sad and yes, I get depressed. Like today I was, I, it took me about two hours to get out of bed. I didn't even go on my phone. I was just laying there. I was replaying what I did a year ago and it was scaring me and I felt just like, I didn't wanna do anything. I wanna lay in bed and I wanna be in the dark all by myself and I wanna stay there. So that's why I'm filming this because I know other people are going through it. Um, I want you to know that you're not alone and I understand how you're feeling. Um, when I was going through it, I was like, no one understands it, no one gets it. No one knows how I'm feeling because they don't, they don't go through what I go through. They don't see what I see. They don't feel what I feel. But I do, I know what it feels like. And it's probably the worst feeling in the, in the freaking world. So if you are too scared to tell someone, tell me. You can message me. I'll try my absolute best to message you back. I believe that I'm put here on this earth to help save people and to help 
people realize that life is good. It's shitty too, but it can be good and it's hard work. I think for about two months, uh, I didn't eat anything. I didn't eat anything. I felt sick. I didn't want to. I didn't want any pleasure in life. I just didn't. Mm. I was so, so dark. I think I have a photo. Um, once I realized, I was like, I'm gonna start my journey and I'm gonna work on myself, which holy mother of God is a journey. And I'm still on it right now. But um, here's a photo of me right after everything happened. I think I had band-aids all over my arms covering my stitches, but as you could tell, I had nothing on me. I was just bones. That was at my lowest. So I started therapy. I started calling my friends. I asked them if they could check up on me. I and my my parents started checking up on me. My sister would come and stay with me a lot. Being alone is is dangerous. Surround yourself with good people. I started praying and like doing yoga and meditation and stuff, and that really helped me. I got scared of going to sleep, so I found little nighttime routines that I would I would do. I would watch. Friends, I love friends. I would watch friends and I would have tea and then I would get in bed and I would turn on my oil diffuser with like lavender eucalyptus, something that really soothed you. I have a Jesus Calling book, I would read that. Turn into a routine that I still stick to to this day and it really helps me. Um, I think routines are really important. Reaching out to people, just don't give up. That's all I gotta say, don't give up. Don't give up and put yourself as a priority because I didn't do that for so long and that's, I think, what added to it. And I know this video is like so just out there and all over the place, but this is just what's going on. I just needed to say it. I needed to share. And hopefully that if you needed to hear it, then I, then I did my job. I'm not going into detail of like my full past because it's just not time. Um, I don't know if I ever will. I didn't even think I would share this today, but just the day it is today, um, it was now or never. So the main purpose of this video is to know that you are not alone. You're not alone and I know how you're feeling. I get it, I feel it, I have felt it too and it's not good. But look at me now, I'm happy. You can be happy, you deserve happiness and you will get happiness and it's not easy to get it as shitty as that sounds, it's not easy to be happy. You have to work on yourself. You have to work so hard. I look back and I go, oh my God, it's a journey. It's hard. I dug myself out of this dark pit that I was in and it was so hard. And I'm finally out of it and I see the light and I see all the potential of life and I'm excited. I'm excited to live my life and I'm excited to see what my future holds. Am I scared that I could go back into the depression? Yes, but I know that I can I can I can get out of it because I got myself out of it. You become so much stronger as a person that it's like holy. <sighs> this is me guys. This is freaking me. I'm literally just sitting on my living room floor like and I feel good talking about it now. I was scared and I still am embarrassed to post this, but I genuinely believe that I can help people. So that's what I'm here for. This is exactly why I am so positive in my videos and why I preach so hard to spread positivity, spread love, spread good energy because you never know what someone's going through. Because for so long, I was hurting, I was dying inside and no one knew. You would never know that I was hurting inside because I acted so happy. That's why I say you never know what someone's going through. Always be kind to someone. Always check in on people, randomly. Even if you haven't talked to them in so long, just be like, how you doing? How you really doing? It could, it could really help people. Make sure that you start putting yourself first. This is your life, you live it once. Life is a very precious thing. I caked my makeup on so hard so that I would like know like do not cry, but I did. So if there's like tear streaks, then you know, it is what it is. I'm the queen of vulnerability over here. So I just hope that I can be someone to look up to for anyone who is going through what I went through. I hope that you can find help. I hope that you can look in the mirror and see the value in yourself. I hope that you can treat yourself with kindness. And if you don't see that, you need to tell someone and you need to work really hard on finding the little things in life that bring you joy. For me, 
it's my dog, it's my family, it's my really close friends, and it's sunshine. I love fresh air, I love music, I put headphones in a lot and I just dance around and it's so free. It's so free. I've been working out, I've been eating healthy, I've been going to therapy, I've been really just putting myself first. I've been working so I have a purpose. Now I'm sharing part of my story very badly but I'm trying my best because I want to help people and I want to bring awareness to how dark depression can be and how dangerous silence can be. Do not be silent, be as loud as you can. And I just want you guys to know that I truly and genuinely so thankful for each and every one of you that support me. I, I support you right back at you um, and I love you so much. I genuinely am so thankful for this family that we've created on here and I only want it to get bigger and I'll be the queen of vulnerability. Thank you for listening. I know this was crazy and whatever, but it is what it is. And um, just know that it gets better. It really does. Whether you believe it or not, it does get better. If you work hard at focusing on yourself and putting yourself first, being a priority, it will get better. I promise. So thank you for watching. And I'm here for you guys. I post every Saturday. Next Saturday, I'll post my beauty secrets. One of them is not how to not have crease marks in your makeup <laughs> from crying. Um, wear a waterproof mascara, maybe, Carissa. But yeah, I'm thankful for you guys, and I'll see you next Saturday.